So for my meal prep this week, I'm just going to give you a quick overview of what we're going to do in the kitchen so we can get started. We're going to start with a tofu scramble and soy chorizo. That is going to be delicious and super simple. Just need the two ingredients so that we're keeping that easy peasy. And then I'm going to do two different potato dishes in the Instant Pot. We're going to cook our potatoes. We're going to do some mashed potatoes and then a quick potato salad with the dill pickles and the mustard the way we like it. You make it the way you like it, but it is so hot here. Um, uh, we're reaching over 100 today. And so I thought a good potato salad to go with our barbecued ingredients would be fabulous. And also going to do a nice cold quinoa salad using some of the items I did on the grill yesterday, which was some, um, uh, I have an extra corn left over and some asparagus. And that is tofu that I marinated and I actually had on skewers. So we're going to put this all together. So stick with me. Let's get in the kitchen. Hey, my beautiful friends, so glad you could join me again here in my kitchen. Where else would we be? We're going to be cooking again. I have a great meal prep for you, quick and simple for the week. Just going to set you up. It's vegan, it's starch solution friendly, and plant-based. We do have a little bit of tofu this week, definitely plant-based. And it's going to be delicious as per usual. So if you're one of my subscribers, Thanks for stopping by. If you are new, thank you for stopping by. And don't forget to hit the, the, the subscribe button right down here, over here. Yeah, hit that. And then scooch on over and hit that little bell icon so you're notified by YouTube or the powers that be above me um, every time one of my videos goes up because you'll want to know I have some great meal preps, some grocery hauls, always vegan, usually all plant-based. Sometimes I do some, you know, off some grocery hauls from Trader Joe's or something, just for some vegan treats or whatever. But other than that, everything else is all plant-based and vegan and starch solution friendly, because I am following the starch solution, still on my journey, and still loving it. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into the kitchen. As you saw in the intro, we have some stuff going on. So the first thing I want to do is, as per any meal prep, we want to get whatever needs to get going, going. And the Instant Pot is going to be the first thing we want to get going, and that will be our potatoes. So I'm using um, new potatoes or thin skin potatoes. They all have different names. I'm actually going to cut these because I already know that I'm going to do part of it with my easy potato salad, and part of it's going to be in the mashed potatoes. And I was thinking the mashed potatoes with the, in my waffle iron again because those were amazing for breakfast. So I'm actually going to kind of dice these a little bit smaller. That way they're kind of already ready for um, the, <clears throat> sorry, potato salad. And for the mashed potatoes. And then I'm not burning my hands at the end. See, I'm actually thinking nowadays. Because if you see me doing my potato salad, you you know I burn my hands on several occasions just trying to do that on camera. And so this is going to be easy. And in my potato salad, I put carrots, not carrots, I'm sorry, onions, celery. And you know I always put a lot of celery because that's how my husband likes it. And then we make it nice and easy with just some mustard. I'm actually going to put some capers in it this time just to switch up the flavors. And this way, when we're since we're cutting it, now you don't have to cut your potatoes. You could just throw them all in there nice and whole. Doesn't take long to cook them in the Instant Pot, obviously. Um, this is actually going to take a lot less time because we've already cut them up. But I figured this will save me an extra step. I can just separate them at the end, take what I want for my potato salad, mix that, and then I can mash my potatoes right in the Instant Pot after I drain out the water. So there is a little bit of water in the bottom. I did take the rack out this time. Normally if I'm doing my potatoes, I have the rack in. So the rack is out. 
lid. We are going to put our lid on. We're going to seal it. And I think I'm going to say seven minutes tops. Those are small potatoes. They should be fine. So we're going to let that go, and we're not even going to have to worry about that now. And we're going to move on to our next recipe. The next ingredient we need to get started is our quinoa. And that doesn't take long to get ready, but we might as well get that cooking. Um, and then we can keep an eye on it while we're doing our tofu scramble. So we're just using quinoa. Now, I get my quinoa at Costco. And so my quinoa, I don't need to rinse. It strictly says it right on the bag. If you get regular quinoa or tricolor tri quinoa or your quinoa from Trader Joe's, you should be rinsing your quinoa. So again, with your quinoa, it's just a two to one ratio. So I'm just gonna cook up three quarters of a cup and then twice as much water. So simple. And because I know I'm making this into a salad, I'm actually going to add a little bit of bouillon. You could actually use, instead of using water, you could use um, veggie broth. So I'm just, this because this bouillon stays so well in the fridge, it makes life so much easier than having to open a carton of veggie stock. And I'm just not ready to make veggie stock yet. There we go. So we're just going to put the lid on this, give it a little stir, and we're just going to put this on, bring it up to a boil, lower the heat, let it simmer for 15 minutes until it's cooked, turn off the heat. I usually turn off the heat around 12 minutes and then let it set for five and then just fluff it up and you usually have perfect quinoa, super simple. So you just want to brown your chorizo. And you want to do it in a dry pan. I like this chorizo because it's not really fatty. You just want to get a little brown on it before you start adding the tofu. And the fact that this chorizo is so well flavored, you really don't need to be adding or sauteing like extra onions or anything. You can, but when I'm doing this chorizo, I just have really the two ingredients and a little bit of turmeric, sometimes a little salt. And now we're just going to break up our tofu in there. And I like to kind of leave it in bite-sized pieces. Gonna add a little turmeric. And you're just gonna wanna mix it all together. Now, if you find that your chorizo doesn't have a lot of flavor, again, go and add some garlic powder, some garlic, um, some onion powder. But I already know that this chorizo is so flavorful that that's why I love using it. It makes my meal prep super simple. And then when you're just blending it, it just flavors the tofu, 
And then that's all done. There we go. Turn off the heat. Just let it continue to melt together. And that's done. Okay. So our potatoes are done. Lift the lid off. Just going to check them. Yes, they're nice and soft. So I'm going to get a bowl. And we'll take out what we want for our potato salad. I'm going to leave that much in there. So I didn't know if you knew this, but you could actually use a little divot that comes in it to put it in so you can strain out some liquid when you have stuff in there. I thought that was pretty cool. Let me grab my... I am just going to mash. Now, I left my skins on because I like the fiber, and I don't mind them on the newer potatoes. I am going to add a little bit of garlic seasoning. Now you can leave yours plain because guess what? They're your potatoes. You do them the way you like them and I'll do mine the way I like them. And I'm just going to add a splash of soy milk. Again, if you want to do almond milk, However you want to do yours. I don't want to put too much milk in them because I want to put them in the waffle iron once they firm back up in the fridge. There we go. So those are all done. They smell delicious. And they'll be good on a 50-50 plate with some nice steamed vegetables or grilled vegetables from the barbecue. So that's all set. So to work on our potato salad, I'm going to slice up some celery. And I kind of like mine chunky. I know, seems like a lot, doesn't it? And yet a certain someone who shall remain nameless will still say there's not enough celery in there. <laughs> in our bowl it goes. I did say this time I'm going to add a few capers just to mix it up a little bit. Now I don't know why they make the caper containers like this when you can't get any kind of utensil in there. I guess I could get a fork in there. I'm just going to put like a tablespoon or so in. And then, of course, I like dill pickles. Yes. It's a new jar. And we do like to put, I do put the pickle juice in. We want that potatoes to absorb that juice.
I think I've asked this before, but leave me a comment down below, guys. What do you put in your potato salad? Besides, like, the old-fashioned stuff where you, everybody put in a ton of mayo. I know we're all trying to be healthy now, so. I think I'm going to grab some of my radishes just to add some color. I do have a ton of radishes. I bought a ton at the farmer's market. So I think I'm just going to add some color here. It's all about, you know, thinking on the fly. I might chop those a little bit smaller. There we go. Okay. Now we have all of our ingredients. And... Add in some mustard. Get a new container. And then I love the sweet and hot. And my husband likes it a lot more than I do. I can't handle it too hot. I think that should be okay. And then you're just going to want to mix it. Again, super easy. Fat-free, full of flavor. I am going to give this a try. I may need some black pepper, probably. Let me just try a piece, especially with the caper. Mm, that's really good. I'm going to say a little bit of salt. And I am going to say some black pepper. Oh, I am going to add some onion. That's what it needs. A little bit of onion. There we go. There we go. That's what we needed. A little bit of onion. Going to give that a stir. There we go. Last little taste. Mm-hmm. That's what that needed. Okay. Now, before we start getting our quinoa salad all put together, we need to do the dressing. And we're just going to do a simple lemon um, tahini garlic dressing. It's one I do all the time. It's super easy. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to juice a lemon. And it's pretty simple. 
I make a lot of this dressing up. I'll make a lot a larger batch. So we're just going to do one whole lemon. without the seed. This dressing is super fresh for the summer. Again, without the seed. I don't know how I'm getting the seeds in here. Okay. Then we're going to want a little bit of tahini. Let me give this a stir. And I have a recipe for this already in my, um, I'll link the video for you. It's just a simple tahini vinaigrette. Making a mess. And again, you put as much or as little garlic as you want. little nutritional yeast gives it that just umami flavor oh and I forgot the magic ingredient come with me miso needs just a little bit of miso about a teaspoon or so. That gives it that umami flavor that we're looking for. And now you're going to end up with this thick paste and that's okay. Now we're going to thin it out. Let me find a vessel for water. So just add a little bit of water and just work it. It'll look all goopy and like it's not working. It's working. Don't worry. First couple of times I made this, I just thought it was like, oh, what am I doing? It's all wrong. Needs a little bit of pepper. I know what it's missing. Missing maple syrup. Give me one second. Start. There we go. Maple syrup. So just a splash of maple syrup. Perfect. So the first thing we're going to put in for our salad is our quinoa. Let me just get a fork so we can fluff it. I'm just putting it in a big bowl just so we can toss the salad with all of our fixins that we're going to put in it. And again, you can add whatever you want into yours. I'm just using what I had in my fridge just to keep it simple. So I had corn that we grilled last night on the barbecue. So don't want to waste. And I thought that that would be lovely in here. We're going to add that. I'm going to add a little bit of the chopped red onion. 
I'm not going to add a lot. I just want to add a little bit for flavor. And just for the color also. I have a little bit of cucumber left over in my fridge. Again, this is kind of like a great salad just to use up stuff in your fridge. I don't want to call it a garbage salad, but you know, it's just like, it's a great, quinoa is a great vessel. This dressing is great to use up stuff. And then I just kind of go as I, as I go, I just kind of see what I'm feeling. I'm going to add some garbanzo beans. Not all of them. I think I'm going to save some for my lunch on the side. I did have some tofu that I barbecued. It was delicious with my favorite barbecue sauce. I think I'm just going to cut that in chunks just to give it a different feel. That looks great. And a couple of radishes. I think I'm going to leave them round just for the look. And I might put a couple of the asparaguses in. Again, I don't want to overdo it with the salad. I don't like to. So let's bring this over here. Oh, almost forgot some cilantro. Got to have a fresh herb in there. Cilantro would be perfect. So I'm just, now I already, when I come home, I wash my cilantro. That way it's fresh and ready to go. And then I wrap it in either paper towel or a dish cloth. There. Oh. It smells so good. There we go. Rewrap that up. I find this is the way my herbs last me the longest. Everybody has their way. And then back into a plastic bag. And I keep taking that plastic bag with me and just keep reusing it when I go to buy my herbs and stuff. Now things are lightened up a little bit at the store. And now we're going to add a little bit of our dressing. I'm going to save some of that dressing for this week too. And give that a stir. Oh yeah, I'm going to add a couple of, of my beautiful cherry tomatoes that I got. There we go. Throw some tomatoes on top. That is wonderful. Look at that guys. Light and fresh for this hot weather. Great to go with anything that you put on the barbecue. Throw a couple of tofu skewers on that, some veggie skewers, a veggie burger without the bun, with the bun, or just a great lunch, nice and simple. Anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed this quick, easy meal prep for this week. Stay tuned. More meal preps are coming. Another shop with me, of course. And so good to be back. See you guys soon.